Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today, you're going to be learning how to make your own colourful and creative festive gnome using the drawing tools in Adobe Express. Open up a new drawing canvas and click the X on templates because we're not going to be using one today. We're going to be drawing our gnome from scratch. You can leave your background colour as white, but click on the brush icon to set up your preferences. There are lots of different brushes you can choose from, but to create a nice clean outline, I'm going to choose this first brush, the hard round brush, and I'm going to keep my color as black. I am going to reduce the size. I want to take the size down to around about 20 to give me a nice smooth clean line for drawing with. When you're happy with your brush settings, click the cross to close the menu and move over to your canvas. We're going to start our picture of our gnome with the gnome's nose. In the very centre of your canvas, draw an oval. If you hold for a second, Adobe Express will automatically snap the shape into a perfect oval. Next, we're going to draw two curved lines on either side. Again, if you hold for a second, the snapping tool will create a perfect curved line for you. This curved line is the bottom of the gnome's hat resting on his nose. We're going to use the space above this line to create a hat. You can choose any kind of hat you like. I've drawn a big curved line that's going to match up with my lines on either side of my nose to create a big floppy hat. Underneath this hat, we're going to give our gnome a beard. You could give him a spiky beard or a frizzy beard. I'm going to give him a nice round curly beard using the snapping tool. I'm going to draw lots of little half circles and after each one, I'm going to wait a moment and let Adobe Express snap it into a perfect curved line. Then I'm going to add in one more curved line right underneath his nose to give him a nice, smiley, happy face. Next, we need to give our gnome a body. Starting on one side of his beard, draw a nice big round shape that extends all the way round until it meets the other side of his beard. You can then draw two small rectangles at the bottom for his feet. And then inside his body, we're going to draw his arms. Add one on each side, like this. And if you add a small half circle onto the end of each arm, it will look like hands. Now you have the basic shape of your gnome, it's over to you to add as much detail as you like. You might want to add a star or a bell to the end of his hat, or you might want to add some pattern or detailing to his clothing. Whatever you choose to add, just make sure that your outlines don't have any gaps in them. Because once you've added your detail, it's time to add some colour. Using the menu options on the left hand side, click the icon that says fill. You'll see a range of different colour swatches that you can choose from. If you select one and then double tap an area on your picture, it will fill everywhere within your black lines. If you don't want to use any of the colour swatches shown, you can pick the swatch that has the toolbar settings and either choose from the additional swatches shown or click custom to choose the exact colour and intensity of colour that you want for your image. Select your colour and then double tap within the black lines to fill that area. Use your imagination and your creativity skills to colour your gnome. You might like to choose completely contrasting colours, or if you're choosing similar colours, you might want to customise one of the colours so that they are slightly lighter or darker, like the arms on this gnome, to help them stand out. When you're happy your gnome's finished, you're going to click in the top left corner of the screen and give your project a title. I'm going to call this one Festive Gnome. And then when I'm ready to download it, I'm going to press the download button in the top right corner of the screen. 
and I'm going to press download again to save my image to my camera roll. We hope you enjoyed trying this activity and that you had fun learning how to create your own festive gnome. Why not try exploring some of the other tools and brushes in Adobe Express to add more detail and patterns to your picture? Or add in an image as a background to create a fully festive scene.